Today we are going to discuss about photometry. It means the measurement used for lighting. There are four important uh, terminologies that is I luminous intensity, phi luminous flux, E illuminance, L luminance. Since these terms looks alike, it is possible for us to get confused between the terms and its unit. We will see how exactly we can remember these terms along with the unit by understanding the concept behind. Okay. So first we are going to discuss about the luminous intensity. Luminous intensity talks about the source. Whenever we hear the term luminous intensity, immediately we have to relate to the source. The source might be either sun or bulb or even a candle. Okay. The unit for the luminous intensity source is candela. It is also called as candle power of a source. This candela is the basic unit for all the units in illumination. I will explain the derivation and the understanding behind the candela in my next class. Okay, next is luminous flux. Luminous flux is the, the moment we hear about the flux, flux means flow, flow of light. We all know that from a spherical source, from a point source, the light travels equally evenly in all the direction. It spreads evenly spherically in all the directions okay so this flow this flow in all the direction is called luminous flux and it is denoted by lumen there is a relation between candela and lumen that is for a unit distance first we'll do for a unit distance for a unit distance one candela equal to 4 pi lumens that is we know that surface uh, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square and we also discussed that light spreads in a spherical form okay a point source spreads in a spherical form so when we when one candle spreads it becomes 4 pi lumen for a unit distance now this in this 4 pi the r becomes 1 that's why 4 pi lumens surface area of sphere okay so the relationship between candela and lumen is 1 candela equal to 4 pi lumens for unit distance okay Now we we'll come to the main important part that is illuminance. Illuminance is the measure on the surface. It is the measure on the surface. It means, it means the luminous flux falls on the surface. That is the lumen per meter square. It falls on a surface. Lumen per meter square is called illuminance. Okay. This is otherwise called as Lux. Generally, if we have seen in different uh, standard books, different standards, uh, they uh, like NBC and other uh, uh, standards, they will mention in the terms of lux. They will say that for a living room, we need lux level of 200. For kitchen, we need lux level of 250. They will give in the terms of lux. It defines the light level at the working plane okay at the working plane that is the kitchen counter or our table whatever it is in luminance is the measure of measure of light on the surface then the third one talks about the measure of brightness brightness of the surface that is when the light falls on it some portion will get reflected this reflected portion is mainly based on the property of the material okay this is called luminance luminance is denoted by the letter l illuminance is denoted by the letter e luminous flux is denoted by the letter phi and luminous intensity is denoted by i okay so this luminance the unit for the luminance is 
Canla per meter square. Why suddenly Canla here? Because this particular object, light on the object, acts as the source for the luminous. And it is perceived by our eye. How we see the reflectance at a particular angle. How we see at a particular angle. Clear? I repeat once again. Luminous intensity talks about the source of the light and its unit is canla. And its unit is canla. Luminous flux talks about the flow of light and its unit is lumen. Luminance talks about the measure on the surface and its unit is lumen per meter square. Illuminance is the reflection, is the brightness, the measure of the brightness of the surface and its unit is canla per meter square that is nit. Thank you.